We will start with an opening statement from head coach Mike Eaves. Go ahead, coach. Well, as you can well imagine, pretty exciting for our group of young men to be the first to win the Big Ten tournament. The comments that uh, we shared uh, with the Ohio State coaching staff is they had a great run. We were in their boots last year. We know what it takes. They were a desperate team. They played their fannies off, and uh, they can walk out of this building with their held held with their heads held high. Um, I think it was interesting that, that you could tell from our opinion as a coaching staff that they were the more desperate team early in the game. And uh, when we got down four two, it then seemed like we got desperate and. We played to a higher level and, uh, and we got the job done in, in overtime. So very proud of these young men, especially our seniors. I thought that they provided uh, real good leadership on the bench and in the locker room, and then ultimately they got it done on the ice for us. So fun to be part of them. Questions for the student athletes? Right over there. Mark, would you take us through the, the winning play? Looked like the puck was just laying there for a long, long time in the slot. Mm -hmm. and you just <clears throat> kind of came from the right circle, looked for it, and found it. Yeah, I know. It's still a little bit of a blur, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, the puck was kind of hopping around, and people were whacking at it in front there in the slot. And I um, kind of just made my way around, and it popped out a little bit. I got, got a little bit of wood on it, and I still don't know if it went five hole or under that or whatever. But uh, yeah, it was nice to get that one. Next question for the student athletes right there. Uh, for Jefferson, your goal ignited everything there. What, uh, what? How did you guys maintain yourselves after falling down four to two, and as you know, Mike said, really start playing desperate. Um, we we kind of talked about it all year, just responding after a goal or whatever. And you know, we had one last night. Um, you know, tonight is kind of the same thing. Just get the puck, try to outwork them. Um, we talked about it uh, in the third, just trying to get to the net. And you saw our defense throw a great shot on net, and there's guys around the net, and fortunately, it came to my stick. Go ahead, right there in the third row. Mark, second consecutive postseason conference championship for you guys. What does that mean in the grand scheme of things for you guys? <clears throat> it's huge. Um, I mean, A, it feels great. You know, we, we came into this tournament this weekend won that. Um, you know, we knew we were going to play next weekend, probably no matter what. But, um, you know, that's not the attitude we had. The attitude we came in with, we wanted to win. And, um, you know, it was important for us to get this get this Big Ten first championship. And, um, you know, as you saw, we, we had no quit in our game and, and, and our attitude, uh, you know, it reflected out there. Go ahead. Jefferson, at any point, you've had a tough stretch here in terms of scoring goals. Did you, did you ever kind of get down on yourself at all? Um, not really. I mean, the thing was, you know, it's, it's we're doing good things in the offensive zone, trying to create chances. It's just a matter of finishing. Um, you know, I thought Zoli played a great game and set Mercy or down in the corners battling and um, you know, it's just just a matter of time to get into that net and you know bearing on the opportunities. You have follow up, no, Mark. By all, at least looking at the math, you guys probably clinched a first uh, a number one <coughs> seed. That obviously was part of this deal, or at least one of your hopes. Correct? Yeah, definitely. That was that was another goal. I mean, I think when you go into the season, there's certain goals you have, and you know, winning this was one of them, and you know. When we came in to the weekend, we knew we had an opportunity to get that one seed, and that's important for us. We 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 learned that last year, just uh, you know the little things that go into having it. But uh, you know wherever we are or whatever, we'll we'll get ready and get prepared this week, and you know it'll be a fun weekend next weekend. Go ahead, right there, uh, Mark. Knowing obviously falling behind two zero early isn't the way you want things to go, but. What did you guys kind of find out about yourself this time of season with your resiliency, being able to come back twice from uh, two goal deficits? Yeah, I think like you said, we, we're a resilient group. And, um, you know, it started with Jefferson right there. The next shift is his line. And, you know, whoever the deep pair that was out with them had a great shift. And, you know, sometimes it might be tough going down two with, with seven minutes left. And they came out right away and, and got that next goal, four to three. And, you know, that, that gained a little more confidence in our group on the bench. and. Um, I think the rest of the game there, we were, we were buzzing. Go ahead. Jefferson, anytime you win a championship, special teams tends to play a lot in it tonight. Obviously, the case, two power play goals, two short-handed goals. What was working well for you guys? You've really kind of clamped down on their power play here and basically in, in the last five meetings that you've had with them. Um, I think it was just bearing down. Uh, we had guys, tons of guys blocking shots. Frank Frank took one in the wrist and all that. Um, Arden. Um, Sean Little and Keegan, they were blocking shots, and we were clearing it 200 feet. I mean, 
anytime you can play four four corners and just outwork them, you're gonna have success. And I thought we did a good job of that tonight. Other questions for the student athletes? Hey Mark, can you, is there another level that your line can go to in terms of production, or are you guys pretty much maxed out at the moment? No, not at all. I mean, that's every 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 shift, every game. You know, we we talk and. We we want to be big time out there and and um, and produce every game and you know from the, with the puck and away from the puck um, we want to do things well and you know I think at the end of the year everyone feels that way and um, you know we don't think we're maxed out at all we're just we're gonna keep working and keep growing and keep playing better hopefully. Any final questions for Mark or Jefferson? Thank you. You can head back to the locker room. Reminder: the Wisconsin locker room will be open until 1040. Questions for head coach Mike Eaves. Mike, speak of the elation uh, in the locker room post game and also what you can do to improve, if anything, for next weekend. I think the uh, elation is seen and felt on the smiles of these young men. When, when you're a player and you and you achieve a, you know a championship, there's an emotional high that you get because you're so wound up in preparation and all the all the emotions that are going through you. So they, they, there's great elation in that. I think the lesson um, we have made the analogy that going into the playoffs in this tournament and beyond is much like trying to climb Mount Everest. And the higher up you go, the less oxygen there is in the air. And games get tougher, and tonight was a tough game. And we had to overcome some being behind. And those are good lessons to put in our hip pocket as we continue to go into next weekend because the games are all going to be pretty much similar to this. You're going to have to battle through some things, some adversity of being behind, and stay with it, stay patient. Uh, I thought our group showed some maturity, uh, getting behind twice by two goals. And that maturity and that, that steely resolve paid off for us. Go ahead. Mike, obviously the, their desperate nature played into the start, but what, what did you see that you didn't like from your team at the outset? Well, it was the, their desperation between our just going out and play. Um, it's, it's hard to uh, explain to young men, you know, we're trying to end their season. That's a very difficult thing to do. And uh, they, they were playing at a higher desperate rate than we were playing for a championship. They were playing for their lives, and, and there was a gap there. And then all of a sudden, when we got down 2 nothing, and you know, the power play goals really allowed us to get our feet underneath us, but when we got down by two in the third, um, I think the response of, of Dolly's line really was a shot of adrenaline, and we felt that uh, we needed to keep going and could keep going and, and create something special, and we did. Next question. Right there in the third row. Coach, what would you say about Rumpel's performance tonight? He was giving up some uncharacteristic rebounds in the early on. Well, the uh, um, I haven't looked at all the goals. The one, the one that I didn't see was one off the angle, and apparently it hit Jake McCabe's stick and it changed the, the speed of the puck and went off the just inside the far post. So it was one of those nights that for a goaltender, it uh, you know, you give up goals and you're not used to giving up those goals. It's like a starting pitcher, you give up some runs, you gotta keep your team in there. So I thought his maturity was on the fact that he didn't get down on himself. He kept himself square, he kept himself in the game mentally and gave us a chance to get back in, which we did. Go ahead. Coach, looking at the score sheet here, you know, the final three goals are scored by your senior veteran guys. How important is their role on the bench and in the locker room? just overall in this game? Yeah, in, in all those areas. Uh, we, we've talked many times that we as a coaching staff will go in and, and we'll say things, we'll carry a message, but we leave the room. We need those young men to, to carry on with what was said and to do it on the bench, and, um, and, and they did that. They've, they've done that all year, and uh, through good times and bad times, uh, they, they're able to give each other feedback and do it in a good way. And uh, it's, it's helped us grow into the team that we are now. Question right there. Uh, Coach, you've had a lot of experience in this building, a lot of success with uh, last year and uh, the regional 2010. Uh, what is your main takeaway, or just takeaway in general, from this uh, first Big Ten uh, conference tournament? Well, I think I mentioned it earlier. I, I just think the lessons from this game in terms of 
being mature, uh, getting through some adverse situations uh, and handling that. Uh, as we said, the games get tougher and tougher. Uh, and, and the difference between each team now is, is so little. And uh, I don't know who we're going to play next week, but it's going to be one heck of a game, just, just like we saw tonight, probably. Question right over there. Mike, when you hear uh, Mark's response to the idea that they haven't even maxed out on what that line can do, I would think that makes you feel good considering how well that line's clicking right now. Yeah, you certainly don't want to put a uh, ceiling on them. If they feel they can keep going, what they've done is pretty, pretty good. Uh, they, uh, uh, and the fact that they feel like that, it's pleasing as a coaching staff to, to hear what he said about playing well with and without the puck. They're understanding that when they play well without the puck, that means they've got the puck back. And so you can see, I mean, Mark would not have said that even two years ago, but uh, he, he's, he gets it now and, and his whole line understands that. And you know, it, it's not surprising to see their plus tonight. Question here in the second row. Like uh, last night, Don said, you know, you know, knowing there was another game to play next week you know, for his team, that mm -hmm. it was kind of the last awarding experience opportunity last night. Um, you know, kind of the same situation for you guys, but uh, what does it do for these guys to actually live through the you know being in a playoff game and being able to battle back from those kind of deficits going forward? Prepares us for the next level. Uh, prepares us for less oxygen in the air as we climb this mountain. It's you know, we can talk about it, but the fact that they've lived through it and handled it, you can't replace that with anything. Any final questions for Coach Eaves? Thank you, Coach.